What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Port Shop here and I'm coming at you with another work slash life update. And before you ask, yes, I'm wearing my Kobe Bryant jersey. Uh, yesterday was rough. Yesterday was probably one of the worst days I've had in a long time. And ultimately, like, it was a bad day, but I didn't let it get the best of me you know i okay so to get some clarity here <laughs> um kobe bryant obviously for those that don't know obviously most of you do know kobe bryant laker legend five-time champion black mamba and eight other passengers died in a helicopter crash yesterday on the way to kobe's daughter's basketball practice and the impact that it had on me yesterday it was just a somber day like all day yesterday um i honestly was in tears i cried multiple times yesterday i was driving we my wife my wife our roommate her boyfriend and our dogs and i or you know casey's dog and then our two dogs um went to the dog park yesterday and uh we were almost there and my phone was blowing up blowing up blowing up blowing up and i didn't know what the hell was going on and so i was driving so i'm like i'm not gonna check my phone while i'm driving so i just was like told my wife I'm like hey here check this see what this is and uh she said you're not gonna believe this and i said what is it you know what's what's up and she looked at me and she kind of had the uh you know the sad eyes and she said Kobe died and uh, when I said when she said Kobe I thought she meant my friend Colby because I haven't heard from my friend Colby in a while and uh, God I love and miss that guy like crazy every day but um, that's, that's where my mind went was a friend of mine passed away somebody that I was close with and, and personal with um, passed away and she said no baby she said Kobe Bryant died and I said I started getting teary-eyed already, but I was like, you got to check that for me. You got to hop online. You got to check articles. You got to tell me if that's true or not, because that, that, that is the worst hoax I think I'll ever hear if that is true, because I remember when I heard the hoax that Ace Fraley died, Ace Fraley of Kiss, you know, I was, I, I was, I was devastated, but Kobe, Kobe Bryant is my goat for basketball he is my guy Kobe Bryant has always been my guy Kobe was drafted into the NBA when I was like two years old I've been watching Kobe my entire life and you know my dad is a Lakers fan so I grew up a Lakers fan and that was my guy guys and I'm still heartbroken about it. I cried like four times three times yesterday and I've cried twice today uh, you know, all the tribute videos and all the, uh, you know, people talking about his legacy and, you know, what he means to everybody and what a great guy he was and a, f a father, a f an amazing father. A, uh, he was actually, um, I think they said the morning that he died yesterday morning, he was at, <clears throat> he was at mass. So he, before he died, man, he was, he was at church. So good on him. And it just, your heroes aren't supposed to die, y'all. And that he is definitely one of my heroes. I put him up there on the list for me. Kobe Bryant is one of my heroes. Was he perfect? Absolutely not. He did have that rape accusation. He did have, you know, he changed his number from 8 to 24 to, I guess, kind of, you know, sweep it under the rug. I don't know. That It's just an accusation. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. But five-time champion for my Los Angeles Lakers and the greatest player that I got to enjoy. I never really paid attention, obviously, to Michael Jordan because growing up, my dad couldn't stand Michael Jordan because my dad blamed Michael Jordan for the uh, decline of the Showtime Lakers. And uh, Jordan came in and took over and no more Showtime Lakers. So that's what my dad was like. You even mentioned Michael Jordan. It was a cuss word in the house because it was all about it. Before Kobe, it was all about 
Uh, Magic Johnson was the greatest basketball player of all time, not this Michael Jordan character that my dad couldn't stand. <laughs> so, but Kobe, I got to watch all five of his championships, and uh, I remember just the euphoria of that last one that they got in 09, 08, 09, I can't remember which year it was, I think it was 09, and, you know, my dad and I watching the final game, and, and my dad popping champagne, because that that's my dad's thing, is he, liked to, he likes to pop champagne after every Lakers championship, and uh, I got to experience five of those, so the last one was just my dad and I, my two sisters weren't there, they were off doing their own thing, uh, but it was just my dad and I, and popping that champagne in the backyard, of course I didn't drink any of it, but, you know, the, it, it's just something that, uh, uh, just, sorry guys, but um, it's, it's something that I cherish, man. It, it's one of my childhood memories that I will never forget, and it, it's something that, you know, Kobe was more than just a basketball player. He was, he was a, an icon. He branched out, out of basketball and became just a pop culture phenomenon. He, like I said, was an amazing father. He was, you know, a, a, a champion. He was fantastic. You go to China, you, you wear this in China, I think you get, like, free dinners and stuff. <laughs> but I, in all honesty, it, it, it still feels surreal. It still feels like it, it didn't happen, that it was just a bad dream, like a, a very twisted bad dream that one of my heroes is gone now and in order in order for me to get past this I'm going to need my Lakers to win the championship this year <laughs> in all honesty uh, which I think that they will after something like this happens inside an organization with a player that is cherished and loved like Kobe Bryant was, it's going to be all fired, all gears, all cylinders firing because I think the Lakers are going to take this and they're going to win. And I hope that that happens. If not, you know what? It's cool. It's fine. Um, but, okay, so I, I, I'm going to backtrack here. My Lakers don't have to win the championship for me to get past this. What I need to know is if his wife and his remaining three daughters that passed away or that didn't pass away, my bad, sorry. If they're okay. If 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 I find out that they're okay, that they're 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 fine. I mean, obviously, you know, losing a father, losing a husband, losing a mentor, losing a best friend, losing just an amazing guy that he was. I can understand how it would it would be tough to move on from but I pray for I pray for his family I, I pray for his parents actually I think his I think his mom's passed away if I'm not mistaken um, but uh, his father I pray for him I pray for his children I pray for his wife I pray for anybody that has worn the number eight or 24 purple and gold throughout their entire lives like me I pray because this is this is a tough one, man. This is devastating. And uh, I'm glad that you guys have given me a platform where I can talk about this. Um, and in all honesty, it doesn't feel real. I had my older sister crying. She called me yesterday crying. Kept repeating over and over and over again, this isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real. And I had to tell her every time, I'm sorry, it is. It is. I apologize, but it's real. He's gone. And then my little sister texted my older sister, my dad and I, and said, Kobe Bryant died in a car, in a plane crash, or not plane crash, helicopter crash. And I was like, yeah, I know. I, I legitimately cried. And then... I cried again when I saw my dad said, yeah, me too. Because th that was my guy. That was my dad. It's a nice guy. And it just, 
realizing that a parent and a child multiple because uh, one of uh, his daughter's teammates and her parents were on board and obviously the pilot like there were no survivors and you know this is more than Kobe Bryant the other people do matter it's not just Kobe Bryant and his daughter no it's Kobe Bryant and his daughter and the remaining seven other people that ch uh, that perished in that in that helicopter crash this is why I've, I've always said all lives matter y'all not just you know celebrity champion Kobe Bryant and his daughter mm -mm. that pilot who apparently I read an article saying has been a pilot since 2007 his life matters his family's their life matters the the two parents and the uh, teammate of his daughters their life matters their lives matter everybody matters man it's like not to get religious but that song red yellow black and white they're all precious in his sight you know everybody matters y'all it's not certain groups it's not certain affiliations certain people it's everybody man person is a person no matter how small yeah I'm, I'm quoting all the cliches and all the cheesy lines but you know what everybody matters y'all matter especially to me the piglets matter and I'm gonna be okay I'm gonna be okay and I hope and pray that the, sur the surviving members of the families that were also in that helicopter crash as well as Kobe's family. I hope they're going to be okay. I wish they'd be okay. I pray that they'd be okay. Because... Oh, Pat McAfee probably said it best. Pat McAfee said that he was... A, he, Pat McAfee says, I'm a grown man that cried over a man I've never met in my entire life. And that's how I am. I never met Kobe. I was never personal with Kobe. I never even attended any of the games that he was in. My dad and my older sister got to attend one of their games. But that was my guy. In basketball, that was my dude. He still is. He's still going to be my guy. You know, 30 years from now when I have hopefully a kid and grandchildren you know and I want them to you know come up to me my grandchildren and be like hey you know 30 30 years I'll be yeah maybe I don't know 30 40 50 I don't know when they're old enough to come out to me and they ask me you know tell me a story of somebody that you looked up to in your childhood I'm going to smile, and I'm going to go on line, you know, whatever invention is there at the time. And I'm going to bring up two things. Actually, multiple things. I'll bring up more than two things. No particular order. The 81-point game. His last game. Each game that they won the championship with him in. Each time he hoisted a trophy or an MVP, I'm like this guy right here. His name's Kobe Bryant, Black Mamba. Had killer intensity, had the best loyalty and the best work ethic I've ever seen amongst a basketball player. And that Mamba mentality is something that I utilize quite often in my life. And I want you to realize how special this man was. And I just, I miss him. 41 years old, he passed away. His 13 year old daughter 
daughter's teammate and her parents and everything. It's sad. I had multiple people, multiple people also tell me it happens. Life happens to people. It doesn't matter their status. We all die someday. And, you know, some quicker than others, some wait until they are way later in life to pass away. But we all die, y'all. But your heroes aren't supposed to die. Legends never die, however. You know, figuratively. But, I've rambled on enough. You guys, thank y'all for stopping by. I'm going to be okay, I promise. Um, this is the saddest I've been in a long time. I don't think I've been this sad since my Nana died. And I knew her my entire life. It's a hard one, man. It's a hard one to swallow. It's definitely hard. Especially somebody that had that much of an impact on me. And I'd been watching pretty much since birth. It, It's going to take me a while, guys. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be fine. Um... And a few other people say also take this as a message of live every day to the fullest love hold no regrets no grudges because tomorrow is not guaranteed there's this should have been a tomorrow for Colby to Kobe sorry thinking of my friend Colby again this should have been a tomorrow for Kobe and his daughter and the pilot and the teammates and the parents but it wasn't guaranteed. And yet, he died transporting his daughter and everybody else to a game, or no, to, a, to a practice at his facility, the Mamba Academy. And uh, before that, he apparently went to church. So, he's in God's hands now, and I hope that he's okay. I hope he's where he needs to be. And everybody else. Pray for everybody else, man. It's not just Kobe, y'all. Like I said, it's not just Kobe. It's everybody that was involved. So, Mamba out. There goes my goat. Do this one real quick for Kobe. Because you like to, to chew. <laughs> and you guys, just have a great day. You guys live today to the fullest. Laugh more. Love more embrace happiness more and i will see y'all tomorrow i love you guys so much thanks once again for dropping by and always remember my little piglet especially right now colin pork chop loves y'all the most y'all take it easy guys i will see y'all next time thank you for letting me talk for 18 minutes about one of my heroes and one of the guys that honestly inspired me in so many ways and now he's gone. Too soon. But he's gone. And there's nothing I can do about it. So, just... The only thing that I can do is just remember the good times. Remember the championships. Remember the 81-point game. Remember the, his final game. Remember his speeches. Remember everything. Bye, guys!